Hello, so today I'm going to take a look at Manjaro, the Gnome Edition. It's been a while since I've looked at Manjaro, um, but it's been getting a lot of fanfare as of late, so I thought I'd just take a look. It's been number one on DistroWatch for quite a while now, but that's um, that's no sort of reasonable metric to really gather how popular it is. But it's getting a lot of hits there, and it's also been featured on sort of Linus Tech Tips, along with a few other distros, but they've been mentioning Manjaro quite a bit. Um, <coughs> So I thought I'm going to jump in and have a look at it because it seems to be getting a lot of hype around it at the moment. So um, we'll close these tabs for now. So we'll just pop open the settings quickly. I've changed the default theme and um, just removed the um, arc menu extension. So it's using GNOME version 3.32.0. And it's the um, what's the latest ISO on their site? And what? Can't remember what version number. Eighteen point oh point four. So, just says it down there. Um, what I'll do is I'll just show you the sort of extensions it comes with. It comes with quite a few GNOME extensions out of the box. I've installed Albert myself. Um, so if we open up Tweaks, so it comes with a load of these extensions already set up for you, disabled by default most of them. This um, dock on the right is uh, on the left, sorry, is also the is an extension. I think it's dash to panel. Dash to panel? Is it dash to panel? Dash to dock, sorry. Um, I've added dynamic panel transparency myself because the arc theme doesn't have it by default, and I prefer to use the arc theme on GNOME, it just looks nicer. So, for your package management, it uses Pacman. Um, so, this is sort of where you can get it from in your package manager, um, and then you've got the I haven't enabled it yet, the AUR repository, repository um, I'm just going to leave that for now. And then to sort of, if, <coughs> if you want to install by command line, I'm so used to apt, I think it's that, and then just sort of name a, um, let's try GIMP, I'm going to need it later anyway. Yes. So it's quite easy really, it's probably apt install pacman git it's probably a bit easier to be fair um you don't have to really rely on ppas or anything either and there's quite a lot in the uh, aur repository almost said suppository then okay um i did have to so when i updated it at first it it removed the um the network manager for some reason and i couldn't get i couldn't get online with ethernet or anything so i had to um i had to edit some files config file to get it to have sort of re-enable re um, system ctl start enable that nonsense and it worked but I think it, I don't know why I just the update to the network manager broke it <coughs> but it's fine now um, I've installed this natively as well because I'm waiting until the new release of Ubuntu is out until I set it up again because I'll, I'll prefer Ubuntu anyway um, but Manjaro is nice and it's getting a lot of hype at the moment so there you go, that's how you sort of install a program like that, open it up. Alright, I've yeah, so um, an extension it comes with is like the arc menu. But I don't really like to use um, an application, I prefer just to use Albert or something, um, extensions. Let's just show you what it looks like, arc menu. So with that enabled, you've got you know categories and whatever else <coughs> sorry I've got a bit of a cough at the moment all right let's just disable that um, I've installed caffeine myself so it's got GS connect out of out of the box which is cool I think Ubuntu is going that route too I could be wrong though all right let's just close that so let's have a look at the package manager here so let's say I think it already comes with Steam as well. I think yeah, it's one of the sort of selling points I was mentioning online is tech tips. Um, 
because there's this big push at the moment it seems to get people into gaming on Linux which is brilliant um, and I think sort of people are really enjoying just using Manjaro as like their step in the door and I don't see a lot of people switching from that um, new people really because you'll get they'll get too used to it and I couldn't really see anyone that's swayed by these videos that are coming out at the moment about sort of gaming on Linux and they're starting on Manjaro I think they'll probably stick and I think it's going to really increase the sort of fanfare and hype around Manjaro and it's already really quite high let me just let that do its thing so standard gnome affair You've got your applications here so it comes out of the box with evolution for your emails Nautilus I do believe it's gonna be Nautilus isn't it yeah yeah it's Nautilus okay Right, so I think it's just updated Steam. It's still going. There we go. Um, I won't log in just yet. So I'm going to be using this set up until um, I think it's April the 18th. I think that's when I think that's when 19.04 comes out. So anyway, so it comes with Empathy, Evolution, Firefox for your web browser. Uh, Package managers are there. Audacity. I oh, know. Sorry, I've installed Audacity. Cheese, which is a webcam thing. Uh, LibreOffice, uh, I installed Lutris myself, Lollipop, I think that's a music player, so it comes out of the box with Steam, Transmission, Tweaks, You Get, Weather, To Do, Get It, let's get it, oh, stop pressing preferences, there we go, yeah get it, 3.3.2.0. Right, I'm just gonna log into this on this on my other screen. I'm probably gonna have to authorize it on my email account as well. Yeah, okay. Firefoz. Right, I'm just gonna quickly log it all in. <clears throat> okay, Steam support, where are you? There we go. Okay, let's um, bring Steam back up in a minute. And close that Firefox tab. All right, this is an old account I don't really use at the moment. So, this is the big thing as well at the moment with Steam. So, enable Steam Play for all other titles. Um, so you can literally pretty much play what you want at the moment, and the support sort of varies depending on what title you use, but. So with this and Lutris and you know all the other efforts people seem to be making, I think gaming is really going to be what pushes Linux into a a new level. It's never going to be sort of you know number one or anything, but I think this is a good a good direction it's going in. All right, let's just see if there's anything else I need to take a quick look at. Yeah, so it uses the gnome terminal. Um, I couldn't. It didn't for me. It didn't have the um, sort of keyboard shortcut set up by default. I had to add it at the bottom here. Gnome terminal, Control Alt T. I'm sure it's probably hidden in the setting somewhere, but I just couldn't be bothered. 
but anyway that's sort of my quick look at Manjaro and I'm going to be using it as I said until the um, the new release of Ubuntu comes out and you never know I might keep it on a separate partition just to sort of play around with it but thank you for watching and please subscribe